OpenAI, Google to a certain extent, whatever, are going down the path of like AI and our APIs and our products are a tool that you will pay a subscription basically or some kind of fee to use. Facebook, on the other hand, releasing it open source for people to kind of pull apart, use, create their own businesses with no royalties, potentially going back to Facebook, blah, 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 blah. It's interesting because like it's in Facebook's interest really for kind of more content to be generated, right? Like they sell ads against content. It yeah. doesn't really matter how it's produced. The more content, the more ads they can sell, the more like inventory they can release. From their perspective, this kind of open source angle makes sense. And I think it actually is a pretty big challenge to the Microsofts of the world, the open AIs, the Googles or whatever, when you have Facebook just releasing really good alternatives for free for anyone to build off as opposed to paying open AI or whatever is interesting and possibly compelling. Yeah, I think the Facebook AI, because that was the other thing I was going to say that I think shocked Facebook a little bit recently because, you know, Meta has had a really sophisticated sort of AI research arm for a long time. You know, they've been working a lot of this stuff. They've hired a lot of the top thinkers in this area. They're the people, you know, they've been jostling with OpenAI and Google for years for like the top AI talent, Mm. you know, and has led to this situation where basically if you're like a top AI scientist, you can like walk into one of the one of these companies and demand basically the salary of like a starting quarterback in the NFL essentially yeah. like you could make a, a buck a load of money but I think Facebook was caught slightly flat-footed not quite to the level I think Google was mm. Google had obviously were forced into complete panic stations and as we saw the other day well it's a, it's a head-on attack to their head-on attack on their model yeah yeah. yeah yeah but I think Facebook was still slightly or meta sorry was slightly taken aback it seems that this was the thing that was happening right now llms chat gpt oh for sure because as you said these guys have departments that have been working for a decade yeah or more um with people who've been probably working on it for decades on this kind of technology and it was always kind of like yeah integrating it into kind of ad tech i guess and here and there and then open ai gets 100 million users in a month with a commercial product like yeah, with totally. a publicly facing yeah, yeah, consumer yeah. product in, in like mark zuckerberg's vision you could probably see him being like oh yeah this is all part of like reality labs this is all part of like the metaverse yeah yeah we're building this like generative ai stuff we're building like this predictive language thing to yeah create. for some future state create whatever and then you know it's it's all kind of in the can we're building this stuff and then all of a sudden they come out with a product that's like mega popular that google or facebook could have released themselves they didn't because they didn't think about it that way yeah totally so the most recent sort of like meta news is they are, are announcing like yes they're, they're doing the llama stuff but they've also announced like their ai playground tools mm. for advertisers which i think this is probably the area where Facebook or Meta is best positioned to win mm-hmm. is like using those tools and deploying them in a really narrow focused way for their core audience or their core customers, which are advertisers. Wow, you're not a premium subscriber. That is so messed up. That's offensive. Yeah, t- absolutely. You know, we put in this hard work to record a podcast for you and you won't even separate yourself from $7 per Mate, month. You listen to these snippets for free yeah. and you're not intrigued enough to pay $7. I mean, what is wrong with you? I mean, you could be right now tabbing out of your browser, opening up Safari or Chrome if you're on Android, no judgment, going to downround.substack.com. Or downround.net, it'll redirect. Yeah, whatever you like. We've set up a redirect. For you. For you. <laughs> and you get an extra episode per week. One free episode, one paid episode per week, $7 a month. It's the best deal in town. You should do it right now. Do it.